We know there are things we should be doing to achieve our goals, so why don't we do them? Sometimes we're resisting ourselves and we don't even know it. Welcome back, and congratulations on taking one more step towards becoming one of the great leaders of tomorrow. We've been getting to know ourselves better all through November, and one of the hardest things to know about ourselves is why we don't do the things we need to do to achieve our goals. And we all do it to some degree. I did it with this week's video. I waited and waited and waited to the last minute, and I'm finally getting it done. We know there's things we should do that are in our best interest, but we find ways to put them off or to avoid them altogether. And the main reason we do this is because our ego gets in the way. Our ego likes to do things that are safe and keep us in our comfort zone. When we find ourselves resisting doing something new, it's usually our ego trying to protect us from the scary things that are out there in the unknown. Sometimes this serves us well, but other times this can actually hold us back. Last month we talked about the things that scare us, and how understanding and embracing our fear can help us take action and move forward. Recognizing and facing resistance is very much the same, although sometimes we don't even know we're resisting ourselves. We might hear ourselves saying things like, I don't have time for this right now, or it's not that important, or I'm just exploring my options so I can do this in the most effective and most efficient way possible. That's what I use a lot. When we find ourselves saying these things, they could just be excuses that our ego is making to keep us from having to step into something unfamiliar and outside our comfort zone. Once we recognize that we're resisting ourselves, there's a few things we can do to help us move through it. First, some self-reflection can help us understand the source of our resistance. Find a quiet place, sit down, close your eyes, and ask yourself, what is it that you're resisting right now? As if you were asking another person and not yourself. It's important not to try to answer that question with our egos or our minds right now because those are the source of what's causing our resistance. We need to listen to our bodies, our hearts, and the universe to see what the source of our resistance is. Doing this on a regular basis can help us even if the answers don't come right away, they may come to us later. Recognizing the source of our resistance is an important first step, but that alone won't help us take decisive action. Our ego is still gonna try to keep us from stepping outside our comfort zone. We can make our ego feel more comfortable with what we're doing by taking small steps in the beginning and letting our ego become more comfortable with each step as we take it. If you find yourself ready to take a big step and are excited to take action, it sounds like you may have put your resistance aside for a little bit, but if it ever comes back, you can always go back to taking small steps and making your ego comfortable with each stage of the process. One thing we can be sure of every time we step out of our comfort zone is that we're gonna make some mistakes along the way. And our egos are gonna use this to push back on us and say, see, we shouldn't have tried this. It's important whenever we try something new, especially something we've been resisting for a long time, that we approach it with a concept called beginner's mind. Everyone who ever did anything great started at the beginning and made a lot of mistakes along the way. We shouldn't think of ourselves as any different. If we have a setback, just put it aside, try again, and don't beat yourself up over it. Resistance is a natural part of our lives as human beings, and our egos really are just trying to protect us from dangerous things out there. The problem is our egos aren't great at telling the difference between risks that threaten our survival and calculated risks that can bring us great rewards. Some deliberate self-reflection can help us figure out what it is that we're resisting. We can also make our egos feel better about what we're doing by taking some small steps and also recognizing that we're gonna make some mistakes along the way. What's most important to remember about resistance is that you're not alone if you're facing it and we've all been there. If you found this helpful, please share it with a friend or coworker. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn and click off on that globe to the right That'll get you subscribed to our email list and that'll bring all of our content direct to your inbox. If you have any leadership or business questions, reach out to us on social media or email us at info at evilgeniusleadership.com. Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. And remember, the future is out there. Lead the way.